guys, this week I want to share with you my top 10 favorite books I've ever read. Um, it's a hard list to do, and I had to use a lot of restraint, um, so it didn't end up becoming my, like, 100 favorite books, which would also be really hard to, like, pick, I guess, which order. My goodness. Anyway, I'm doing top 10. So, my favorite book, number 10, is the Bible, and my favorite book in the Bible is the book of Esther. It's only 10 chapters, so it's a really quick read and easy to just pick up and just read it. It's the story of a Jewish girl, Esther, who ends up marrying the king of Persia. And there's a plot to kill all the Jews in Persia. And by honest and open communication with her spouse, she manages to stop mass genocide. So clearly, we should all communicate. And we can stop people from dying. At number nine, if you can't tell by the wall behind me and the fact that I'm wearing TARDIS earrings, I am a Huvian. And so I picked one Doctor Who book, so it wouldn't be a list of my top ten Doctor Who books. Um, and I picked Doctor Who Companions by David J. Howe and Mark Stammers. It is published in 1995, and it has all the Doctor's the classic companions. And I really like this book because it has these little snippets where it's got a TARDIS log and it tells you about the character and where they're from, what they like and stuff, um, which is really useful because I ha have not watched anywhere near all of classic Doctor Who and some of these companions I haven't even seen yet. So it's cool to find out where they're from, especially when I don't watch their episodes in order. And it's also really fun to go and find out all background, find out more background information about characters I do like, like Sarah Jane. Um, so, yay, Doctor Who! At number eight is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I love this book because Jane Eyre kind of has a rotten life, which I can relate to. Sometimes it just feels like more and more just crap happens. Um, Jane Eyre keeps her wits about her and is really smart. And kind of just makes the best decision she can at the time. And always with like a good strong moral compass. In the end she gets her happy ending. Um, so yay! That's why I love Jane Eyre. I also love like there's like certain characters like Miss Temple in here. That you're like yes! Jane's got like another sane person with her. So yay! Um, number seven is Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Which I love because I like, I love Fanny. <laughs> She's got um, a really good, strong moral character similar to Jane Eyre. Um, her life isn't quite as crappy as Jane's, although her parents have way too many children and she gets sent off to live with her aunt and uncle and her cousins and is made absolutely certain that she is the cousin and not related, like not a woman of the house kind of thing. Um, but she makes, she has a... Uh, cousin Edmund to help her and it's awesome. I love this story. Okay, number six is also by Jane Austen. It's Emma. Yeah. I love Emma because she is kind of a naive girl. She's young and inexperienced and she's sheltered like her dad spoils her. Um, but she does a lot of like having really ambitious projects and I'm going to improve myself and I'm going to read all these books and then has a tendency not to finish them, which I totally relate to. So that's why I love Emma. Also, Mr. Knightley is absolutely perfect. <sighs> so yay. Okay, number five is The Little Lady Agency by Hester Brown. This is, a, this is about Melissa, who ends up losing her job and decides to start a consulting firm for men who aren't really good at functioning without women, I guess. That's the best way to put it. So she will get hired to help them plan parties or like a secret, or one of those shopping people who helps, what are they called? Um, or like will help them find clothes to wear kind of thing. Um, of course, everybody seems to think she's a hooker, so there's that side part. Um, 
but it's funny and witty and it's awesome. It's chiclet. Yay! <laughs> At number four is Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. It is the first Shakespeare play I ever read and I have fell madly in love with it. Um, I love Beatrice and Benedict and their witchy banter back and forth. Um, and there are so many insults in this book that it is just, it's awesome. Yay! If you can watch the one with David Tennant and Catherine Tate performing this play, that one is absolutely the best thing ever. <laughs> uh, yep. At number three is Enchanted Ink by Shanna Swenson? Shana Swenson? Anyway, this is the first book in the Chanted Ink or Kate Chandler series. It's about a Katie Chandler who goes to New York and she starts seeing strange things. Um, fairies and things popping out of thin air and things that other people don't see. And it turns out that she is immune to magic, so magic isn't doesn't affect her. When a wizard casts a spell and tries to veil it, she will see them doing it. And she is able to save an entire magic company by using her uh, like common sense, a little bit of business smarts, and a good pitching arm. So, yeah, she's perfect. She is perfect a lot. And number two is the Harry Potter series. In particular, my favorite one is Prisoner of Azkaban. These books are by J.K. Rowling. Um, Rolling, however you pronounce it. And I love this book. I love this one because it has um, Sirius Black and Remus Lupin and we're introduced to the Marauders. And Remus Lupin is like the only competent defense against defense against the dark art teacher they have who isn't like somehow working for Voldemort. So yay! Um yeah. I love the Marauders. The Marauders need their own, like, prequel. I would read that. Okay, my number one absolute favorite book that I have never... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite book in all the world, though I've never read it. Psych! I totally read it. It's The Princess Bride by S. Morgan. Actually, that's not right. It is S. Morgenstern's classic tale of true love and high adventure by William Goldman. Yay! And if you don't know what this book is about, let me just quote the author if I can find a page I dog-eared. It has fencing, fighting, torture, poison, true love, hate, revenge, giants, hunters, bad men, good men, beautiful as ladies, snakes, spiders, beasts of all natures and descriptions, pain, death, brave men, coward men, Strongest men, chases, escapes, lies, truce, passion, and miracles. Yay! I adore this book. Um, I'm going to do a book review on this book, as I will with every book that I read in 2015. So, if you want to find out why I love The Princess Bride, check out that video, because otherwise I would spend five minutes talking about it. So, thanks for watching, um, and let me know what your favorite books are. If you hated any of these books, you can go ahead and tell me that, too. <sighs> Please note that I strongly disagree with you, though. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!